Yo, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Perplexy here, bringing you guys a brand new video on Equinox. Before we get into this video, we are going to be doing a giveaway. We're going to be giving away two $25 bonds to two lucky winners. All you have to do is comment your in-game name below, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, and make sure you guys like the video. I hope you guys enjoy this brand new video on Equinox. You guys can view people's shops. All you have to do is right click on a player and you can click view shop and you can see their shop. Instead of going to a POS, you can just view other people's shops, which is really, really neat. I think that's a really good addition just because you don't have to really look at the POS. You can just click on a person's name and then you can look at everyone else's shops. Moving on, we have a daily task system. So all you have to do is come over here, talk to this daily task master when you log in. Make sure you guys do all your daily tasks because once you do, you can go to the task shop and you can buy all these kind of items. You can get medium keys, extreme boxes, you can even get an owner box, a diamond box, Milo's Dream Pass, OP Donator's Key, which are absolutely insane, and you can even get bonds. So all you have to do is click this little daily task right here, and you'll see all your rewards that you have to do. So kill 350 Darth Vader's, you get 100 points. So each point will add up till the amount of points that you get till you can unlock certain items into the task shop. So make sure you guys definitely do your dailies every single day because that'll help a lot. Slayer. Slayer is one of the probably the best ways to make money in this server and to start off as well. Um, you'll start off through Vanica, then you'll move to uh, Duradel, then you'll go from Duradel to Curadel, and then you'll go to Simona. So how Slayer works is you'll have the requirements. So each zone will have requirements that you need to kill, but if you're doing Slayer, you don't need to have those requirements. So if you even get a hardened task and you have to kill, let's say, 750 Trinities to get to Herbal Rogue, well, if you get Herbal Rogue as a Slayer task, you don't need to do the kill requirements because you'll already have that task assigned to you so you can still kill those monsters. So Slayer will definitely be a helpful helpful thing in this server and also the rewards are a super big plus. Like you can get gracious mystery boxes, a bunch of tax bags, bond caskets, $5 bonds, $10 bonds and even the new Slayer helms that they have, Thunderlight, Peacekeeper and Natures. So Slayer is definitely a key in the server. Blood Slayer is also a huge way to make money as well. You will need 20k blood bags to be able to talk to this NPC right near. It says you must offer 20k blood bags to offer their table. So once you have 20k blood bags, you can go ahead and click this little teleport blood slayer dungeon and you will get rewards and every task you complete, you'll get slayer points and you can literally buy like insanely OP things with this. You can get $25 bonds, infinite overload potions, red shergan auras, fantasy gloves which are 10 drop rate and you get so much more things. So blood slayer is also a definite plus on this server. Moving on, we have a boss points slash ticket shop where you can get a bunch of things with your boss points like a supreme staff, uh, collector's level 5, you can get 20% drop rate, unlimited prayer scrolls, bonds, and a bunch of bond uh, caskets as well, as well as like an infinite overload potion. So boss points will definitely be a plus as well, so make sure you're always killing your bosses. They also have the trivia point store right here which you can get insanely like crazy words. I've never seen any of these kind of customs, so they're really cool. You can get like a pet baby Yoda just for answering questions from the trivia when they pop up. They also have like a skilling points shop. They have consumables over here where you can get a bunch of consumables. They also have a prestige shop. They have items where you can sell just to anything. So all your rewards that you get from your NPCs, you can sell them here and get tax bags through. Uh, they do have vote rewards. So make sure you guys always vote as well. Um, and then they have a loyalty point shop right here as well. Moving on, if you come home and you go north uh, of home, you can see a bunch of these chests right here. Um, they all grant you different um, rewards. So we have the starter chest, you can go ahead and click the rewards and you can get a bunch of things like a 2% lucky drop charm and much more other things as well from there. Um, moving on, we have the medium chest that you can see. Um, you get better rewards as well each chest you open. Uh, you get Godzilla's, you can get a Ginny Battle Staff. And then we have the Forgotten mini game, which is a mini game that you guys can do and you can get a bunch of bonds, like insanely OP gear. And then moving on, we have the Grand Donation Chest, which is the best chest in game, um, which I believe in my opinion, you can get an Owner's Cave, a Times 2 pet, a COVID minigun, which is really, really cool. You can also get a Battle Pass, uh, a Perfect Ring, a Perfect Necklace, a $100 bond. There's just so many things that you can get from here. And then you have the Blood Slayer Chest, um, which is through Blood Slayer. Uh, they have just a bunch of diamonds which give you drop rate, they have teddy bears, $100 bonds, like there's just so many rewards that you guys can get through this game. 
If you come to the west side of home, they will have a salvage a weapon upgrade, a miscellaneous upgrade, an armor upgrade, and a battle pass statue with a forge table. So you can go ahead and just click any of these, which will say exchange on them. All you have to do is just click on it and you can exchange all your salvage that you get from um, NPCs, all the gear that you get, you can salvage that and you can better drop rate. So at a thousand salvage, you'll get a hundred percent and you can just keep maxing out your drop rate and you can get a bunch of drop rate. The weapons upgrade, you can upgrade a bunch of weapons that you have and try to forge it into other weapons. It will be an upgrade percent chance that you will need to lose your weapon at. Um, they also do have like armors, uh, miscellaneous things and all that kind of stuff. So it's really, really cool. They also do have a battle pass statue. Um, which I have so all you have to do to do a battle pass is do colon colon battle pass and you can just access it that way as well It also is in the store for like 40 or 50 dollars. I'm not exactly sure um, But it go goes all the way up to a hundred and at a hundred you can get a fifty dollar bond Which is absolutely insane. You can also get more bonds throughout the battle pass So the battle pass is definitely a plus if you guys don't have a battle pass I would definitely check that out and then over here We do have the forge table that you can forge different gears like donator or as red shagan or as chucky dolls there's just so many things on this server, you guys, that I've never seen on any single server, which I think is absolutely insane. They have so many customs that I've never seen before, so it's so cool. They have, like, a Supreme Herbal Bow, which you need a Supreme Staff, 100k tax bags, and a Herbal Bow to upgrade it. And it is 100% success rate, so you won't lose those items at all. You'll lose the items that you upgrade, but you won't lose the result that you get. One of the most crazy things that I like about this server is they do have a custom League of Legends arcade. It is absolutely insane. I've never seen, like, a custom raid like this. So here's the donator shop all you have to do is go home and go to the west side a little bit and you'll see this little donator shop also like this little kermit frog that has a little wheel on it and he's spinning around you can see the donation shop here you can get bonds in game you can also donate for bonds if you want to as well but you can get a lots of rewards you can get a times two pet for like 300 points you can get like a kasha mage set which is an absolutely insane mage set you can get an unlimited prayer scroll you can get a bunch of boxes as well as chess and a grand donation key like I showed you earlier in the video, which is absolutely insane. And you can get infinite overload. So donation shop is definitely huge um, to the server. Also, we're going to show you guys the May Pokemon boss that you guys can get to. Uh, it'll pop up once in a while into the server. All you guys got to do to get there is just do colon colon May. There will be other events that you guys can do like mass and other things like that. All you have to do is just watch in game when they spawn. I also want to show you guys how you can get salvage. All you have to do is go ahead and any kind of equipment that you want to salvage or item that you want to salvage, all you have to do is right click on it and you can salvage it and you will get salvage points which you can use which I showed you later earlier in the video. Um, you can use for drop rate, uh, for upgrades or whatever it is. So all you have to do is click this little thing, it can be any kind of equipment, it doesn't even matter what it is and you can salvage it and you'll get salvage tokens. Okay, my favorite part about this server is definitely the teleport interface. I absolutely love the teleport interface. So you'll have your beginner zone, which you'll start at your starter zone. Um, you'll get a bunch of gear through the starter zone. Then you move on to Incredibles. You can keep moving on and so forth, so forth. So for the beginner zones, you don't need much kill counts um, going from Hercules. After Hercules, you, deal, you will start to need kill counts, which is like 15 kills. And then you keep moving on and moving on. You go from beginner to medium, which they have like heated pyros. They have like a dark wizard I've never seen. That's really, really cool. And then you move on to your hardens, which you'll have like multi-bosses that you can kill as well with other people. Um, and then moving on, you'll have like Supreme Nexus, and you can keep going from beginner to expert to maniac. And then they have the mini games. They have a bunch of mini games. They have like a Milo's Dream, which you can get in a Nash. And then Yasha Playbody, I don't even know how that is. They have League of Legends. I've never seen this before. They have a League of Legends. They have a forgotten mini game. They just have so many mini games: Expert Boss, Mass Boss, World Boss, Pokemon Boss. They just have so many, so many different types of bosses on here and custom mini games that you guys definitely need to check out. If you guys aren't on this server right now, you guys definitely need to check the server out because by far, I think it is like one of the most custom unique servers i've ever seen like i've never seen some of these npcs like they literally have an avatar that you can get like an airbender aura like look at that that is so fucking sick that is that's so cool i absolutely love that so if you guys haven't checked this server out make sure you guys definitely check out equinox i will be putting the discord link down in the description as well but before we end this video we are going to be doing giveaway like i said in the beginning of the video we're going to give away two 25 dollars bonds to two lucky winners all you have to do is comment your in-game name below make sure you guys are sub to the channel and make sure you guys like this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video on equinox i hope to see you guys on this server Everybody get your fucking hands up.